When you give someone guidance, you generally have two choices. You can provide directions or you can provide a map. Directions are linear and singular. Start here, turn there, go this way, end here. Maps, on the other hand, are bounded but open-ended. You start at point A and you go to point B. What's decided about the path to follow is up to the follower. With directions, even good directions, there's little room for judgment. There's no big picture. And sometimes that's exactly what's necessary. For long-term leader development, the map is a far more productive tool. Yes, it's a tool that has room for error, but isn't that how we learn? This post was inspired by Naval War College alum, Major Joe Byerly, from his November article on the Modern War Institute website. Lead well this week.